Hello, this is Effie Zelda Lord 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and welcome back, so let's play Twilight Princess. Last time, we purged Lanayru of all of Twilight, and now everything seems to be saved for now. But now we need to head to the bottom of Lake Hylia in order to get into the temple and get the last few shadow. The location is already marked on our map. But unfortunately, it's underwater, so we don't have any way of getting to it at the moment. So for now, let's head back to Castletown. Oh, we can see the Zoras now. Okay, have fun with that. Yep. Yeah, I've heard. Just as a safety precaution? Yes, I am a customer. Okay. Go to the heavens, huh? Let's see. Before I enter here, I want to stress. This is the second darkest Zelda game right behind Majora's Mask. Deep, huh? Hmm? What's your opinion on that? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the power to swim underwater. Yup. Okay, let's get down here. Now this is uh, the... I can't remember that guy's name, but this is the Flight by Foul game. Basically, the way it works is we take one of these Kukos, and we use them to see if I can get a better angle. Unfortunately not. But there was a set of uh, boxes uh, below and near where the cannon was. What you have to do with this game is you take a Kuko and use it to ride down. You'll get rupees, and uh, there's a heart piece that you can get. Let's see if I can get a better view. Ah, these fences are getting in the way. Okay, it's right to the right of Link. You should be able to see it. That's where we would fly down. I'm not going to do it yet. I plan to save that for later as well. I'm actually planning to take out the majority of the side quests all at once. Not now, but... You can probably guess if you've played the game before. Yeah, that's going to be a hell of a ride. And I actually shouldn't have gone up. No, I should have. Okay, before heading back to Castle Town, there are some golden bugs to get. Okay, where's the first one? Get out of the way. There we go. Get back here. Alright, here's Golden Bug number 9, I believe it is. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, this is 11. Never mind. Now let's go get the... As I was saying, there's another Golden Bug on the other side of the bridge. This one is a little trickier to find if you don't know exactly what you're doing. But I think I just noticed it. Yep, there it is. Should get back here. 
And there's a female mantis. Whoa. Hey, there aren't any enemies nearby. There's this Jew right here. I forget if there's anything that locks up hey, during nighttime at Castletown. I don't think so, but... Well, we'll see when we get there. Might as well blow this up now. Actually, yeah, let's get some rupees while we're at it. Okay, that should be enough. I'm just leaving that one out because I have plans. And just having that extra 5 rupees will bother me. Well, not exactly bother me, but I don't feel any need to get them when I know this is all I need. Okay, there's, there's the other golden bug. Come on. Hey, come here. Uh. Okay, that got you. And there's a female butterfly. And the male butterfly is down here. Alright, that's 14 golden bugs. And there's one last thing to do before we enter Castletown. Our third hidden skill lesson. Whoa. Thank you! Uh, you saw that, didn't you? Ow. Never gonna get used to that. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay, here we go. There we go. It worked this time. Now we have the back slice, one of my favorite skills. If you played Wind Waker, then you're going to know okay, how this works. Yep. Unlike Wind Waker, we don't have to wait for a parry attack in order to do it. We can do it at will. How do we neglect sword training when we're on a path to save the world? Well, a quest to save the world. Okay, then I was finally heading into Castletown and I did not need a Pona. Let's go. And start a riot. Ah, oh, no one reacted to that. Well, enough screwing around. Unfortunately, it's not morning, so we don't have that cheery music for the atmosphere, but... Oh well. Now we have this guy to deal with. What we need to do with this guy here is we need to donate a total of a thousand rupees. 
As you can see by that clue, once we donate a thousand, we'll get a heart piece. But yeah, it seems like it's going to take forever, right? Well, hopefully you've been gathering all those golden bugs up until now. But before going to drop off the golden bugs, let's go in here first. I normally recommend against this since it's just a waste at this point, but I want to show it off. What is this place? Good day, whatever the heck your name is. I think some NPC around at Castletown says it. His name is Perlo. Sounds simple enough. Let's do it, Mr. Mumbor. I gotta think of better nicknames for these guys. Okay, so like he said, all we need to do is uh, get all of these orbs around here. Okay, we just jumped across to get these. Now we have to run back up, and we're already down to 20 seconds. Okay, let's get these. Missed that one. Guess we need to go all the way over there. Come on. How the hell are we supposed to make that? How would anyone be able to do that? Yeah, we can't win that game yet. But we'll be back for him later. Much later, actually. Okay, now let's go drop off the golden bugs since I'm broke. Hey there. Maybe... Huh. Quite the place you have here. I never go up this ladder, so let's do that now. You're obsessed with bugs. Yep, this is the person we're looking for to drop off golden bugs. We have to get confused by that again. First Romani and now Agatha. You got that. I've already got 14 of them. Okay, let's start off with the, the male ants. Make sure you don't do that! Yes, yes we did. And once you give one golden bug to her, no matter what it is, you get the big wallet. So now we have twice as many rupees to hold. And like she said there, whenever you give her, her the female parts you know, to make a pair, then you're going to get more money. Yeah, when you give one golden bug, then you get at 50 rupees, and when you give the pair, then you'll get an orange rupee. Okay then. 
I've actually never read through her dialogue or pay that much attention to it. I've been saving my reactions just for this LP. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get as many rupees as I can, donate them to that guy who wants that wants a thousand rupees, and I'll be back later. And if I make any interesting reactions to her dialogue, I'll show them off. back. Don't worry. I'm not gonna leave you. I guess Agatha has some sort of bug sense. Ah. Huh. What? I don't think I get this. She wishes she was smaller to roll that pill bug around. What's wrong with it being your current size? <laughs> Disregarding the fact that rolling a bug around is odd. I'm speechless. You've got me, game. Okay, I finished giving, giving all the golden bugs to Agatha, so now I'm going to give the rest of the rupees to this guy. Okay, it should be just another 50 rupees. I am sorry for that. Anyway, this is hard piece number 12. Well, I got quite a good amount done, but there's still a lot more to explore around with Nehru. So, see you next time. <laughs>